Uh, my name is Jerry Bird. I'm the director of football operations for the Jets. The Jets is a third grade through eighth grade football program in Shreveport, Louisiana. that serves as a feeder for Loyola College Prep uh, with Coach Jeter as the head coach at LCP and, uh, and his staff. Uh, we're here today to talk about the 90 shallow. Uh, this video is for Jets coaches, Jets players, and parents that want to understand the 90 shallow concept. Before I get into the shallow, the uh, Jets is a the Jets are a Tony Franklin system offense, the same thing that uh, Loyola runs. And this package, this concept, is part of uh, one of the major uh, 90 concepts uh, in the Tony Franklin system. <clears throat> the the why here we have an ace formation. We have an ace formation. It's a two by two set. X, H, F, Y, and Z. On the 90 shallow, the Y is going to have the shallow route. His aim and point is the heels of this defensive lineman, and he's going to come through the heels, and he's going to, going to come to a point about four and a half yards. Four and a half yards. He doesn't want to get any deeper than four and a half. The H is going to have a 10-yard dig. Now, what's important about the H is he needs to be this distance between the tackle and the H receiver needs to be 8 to 10 yards. 8 to 10 yards in order for, for this uh, concept to work. He's going to run a 10-yard dig. He's going to come to 10, and he's going to come straight across. Okay. The F is going to run a shoot route to about 2.5, past the line of scrimmage. On the outside, X is going to run and go. This is a mandatory outside release. I'm going to abbreviate that and put MOR. Mandatory outside release. The reason we want to get a mandatory outside release by that X receiver is so that it, if there's a corner or any type of main coverage, that that defender will go with the X receiver uh, on that and, and clear this area. To this side, Z is going to run a post. These outside routes are pre-snap reads. What that means is the quarterback will look and see if he likes the matchup or if he likes the, uh, the grass that is given by the defense. And if so, he will give the X or the Z a signal, and uh, that will tell him to be looking for the ball. If not post-snap, the quarterback will not go to the X or Z receiver in this concept. His progression, the quarterback's progression, is hot shallow, dig, shoot. Hot, shallow, dig, shoot. Now, um, to get that across the quarterback's mind, what the, what the coach needs to do is to say, Joe or John, you know, 90, 90 shallow. And that quarterback needs to be able to say, hot, shallow, dig, shoot. Um, and let's look at that. What, what is hot? Hot right here is if we have a defender, and we'll just put an X right here as the defender that appears to be covering the H, and he comes on He comes on a blitz. He comes on a blitz. H needs to recognize that and pull up right now, and the quarterback is going to throw the football to H right, right then. His eyes are always, the quarterback's eyes are go, always going to be in this area at that alley defender uh, or tough defender, as some people call it, he's going to, to have his eyes in this area, okay? If this defender stays here, obviously that takes out the shallow route, so he'll move his progression, okay, which is the shallow, he'll move it to the dig, okay? So if, if there's a defender in this area, once this play develops, he will then look to the dig. If the dig is covered, he will then go to the shoot. Hot, shallow, dig, shoot. Now, what is so uh, good about this concept is how it stretches a defense. It stretches a defense vertically with the two vertical routes on both sides of the football. It also stretches the defense horizontally uh, with, with routes across for the underneath guys to cover. And it's hard for a defense to cover deep routes as well as underneath routes across across the football field. Quarterback's going to take the ball and take a three-step drop. Again, his eyes are going to be 
going to be in this area looking to see what this defender does, how he reacts. If he comes, he's going to throw hot. If he goes with the eight, okay, then the Y should be open on the shallow route. If he drops deep in coverage, okay, if he uh, drops deep in coverage, again, the shallow route, the shallow route should be there. Now, one other thing. This Y receiver, as he's coming across, he's going to be in here with some linebackers, okay? He needs, again, to come at the heels of that defensive lineman, but he needs to be coming fast. He can't be a guy that's timid. Uh, he needs to be, it would help if he's a bigger type guy. He needs to have speed, okay? But he also needs to be able to get across those linebackers, get across there uh, shallow, and, uh, and come with some speed. Uh, across the field. And that's the 90 shallow.